Hello and welcome back to Tableau in two minutes. Today we are working through building a dashboard with a series of videos. This is the third video in the series. If you'd like to see the first two, please check for links in the video description. What we're going to be doing in this video is organizing everything on our dashboard. So you can see we have a line graph showing how orders have trended over time. We have a second bar graph showing how orders are are distributed by category and then we have another bar graph showing how orders are distributed by province. To put those on a dashboard we're going to create a new dashboard using the uh, little learn new dashboard button down here. Uh, the first thing I want to do is change the size. This size is uh, not one of my favorites. We're going to go to fixed size and I'm going to do custom and desktop browser and that gives us a fairly square area to work with. Um, you see the white is our sort of workspace, the gray is the bit uh, we can't use and we have all of the white on the screen, which is nice, uh, makes it easy to design well. Um, the first thing I like to do is I like to take all of my sheets out and just lay them out approximately where I'm gonna see them. Now you see what I'm doing as I drag this sheet out is I'm holding shift. That does what's called floating it, which means that we can move it about by itself as I'm doing now. If I let go of shift, you'll see that it's gonna take over the whole view. We don't want that yet. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold shift and I'm just gonna drag this out and I would like to put this up across the top. See, so we have trending over time and then I'd like to take my two bar graphs and again, I'm holding shift, dragging them out. I'd like to put my two bar graphs down at the bottom here. So we're gonna drag those out like that. And then you can see I've got my two Legends here, I don't actually need the legends for this because there are labels on the graph, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete them. The colors really just to differentiate, help us differentiate between the columns there. All right, now I like the way this looks. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use Tableau's little uh, layout boxes in order to, uh, to put these together. So the first thing, I'm gonna make everything a little bit smaller just to make the view a little bit less cluttered. I'll drag this one up there. Let's make that one a bit smaller as well. All right, there we go. Uh, and then the first one I'm gonna drag out is the horizontal box. And the horizontal box is gonna be the one that holds this bar graph and this bar graph together so that they align nicely. Um, the way to use these boxes that I have found most effective is to start from the smallest and then work your way out. You can um, start with the biggest one if you'd like, but it, it becomes a, a bit of a challenge to keep them all going. Now, because these are floating, right? If I don't do anything, they just continue to float. So when I wanna put them in the box, I'm gonna hold down the shift key. That's gonna snap them into the box. That's my first one in there. And then I'm gonna take the second one. You can see which side it's gonna go on when the gray bar appears. So if I hold it over here on the right, it's gonna go on the right. If I hold it over here on the left, it's gonna go on the left. So we're gonna hold it over here on the right, let go of it. Now we've got these two and they are snapped into our horizontal box. Then we're going to take a vertical box. We're going to do something similar. So we're going to make this a bit bigger. Whoops. Make this a little bit bigger. Then we're going to take our orders over time. We're going to drop that into this box here. Then uh, we need to go to the layout tab on this side. The reason we go to the layout tab is because that way I can directly select either of my two layout containers here. So the first thing, or so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this horizontal box, see that horizontal box is floating, so I need to hold down shift to make it go into the container, and I'm gonna drop it into the vertical container, and there you can see I have everything in the vertical container, I have orders over time at the top, and I have my horizontal box with orders by category and orders by province. The last thing I'm gonna do for this video is just resize this so that it sits nicely and fills up the whole workspace, and you can see the edges of everything are aligned, um, the sides are aligned, tops are aligned, makes it laid out uh, very professionally and very squarely. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Tableau in two minutes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you would like a link either to the next video in the series or to the prior video in the series or to the data set that we use to develop this dashboard, you can find those links in the, the video description. And we hope to uh, see you next time.